today, I'll be vlogging with this. This is the DJI Osmo Action 3, which wasn't that well received by the internet. And this is because when this was initially released, there are a lot of people who experienced focusing issues with this camera. But even when the focus issue was fixed, there are you know a lot of people who are just dismissing this camera altogether because they said, compared to the GoPro Hero 11, uh, it really has a soft image, even though the focusing was fixed. So today, I'm going to vlog with this camera. We're going out as a family, and let's see if you know this will be usable for you. All right, so. I am now currently on the DJI Osmo Action 3 and I am on full auto mode and the enhanced image quality is turned on now. This is from the latest firmware update we're in. The Action 3 has now enhanced image quality in the normal color mode or normal color profile and then it also has 10 bit but it's only available with a D Cine log profile of the Osmo Action 3. So right now what you're seeing is auto mode enhanced image quality. How is it? Alright, so after the party, uh, not much happened, not much uh, vlogging. Today we are going to a hotel for Uncle Jerome's birthday celebration. We just got home from Basti's basketball. I forgot to bring this. So yeah, it's going to be me and Basti going to the hotel. Alright, so me and Basti are on our way to the hotel and just want to test this. Action 3 adjusts from you know the indoor exposure and then we're gonna face it outside. And back to us. How did that look? Still vlogging on the DJI Osmo Action 3. Sorry for the engine noise, uh, but I wasn't satisfied with the images that I got from the Osmo Action 3. But I mean, that's the point of this video to see if in not so good conditions, because you won't have uh, good conditions all the time. Uh, and that's where the weakness of these types of action cameras are in you know, not so favorable conditions. So now I'm trying to set uh, the ISO as low as possible. So right now I think we are at ISO 200, I believe. So how is this image compared to the image yesterday? Yeah, it's about ISO 800 now on the camera. So how does it compare to the footage a while ago? All right, walking here in BGC. I don't know if you hear me. I don't know if the audio is clear, but yeah, going to meet some workmates, work together, co-working. Alright, so I'm probably ending this vlog here in my backyard. How does this look? I'm under the sun, but it still needs ISO 800, and I'm on the wide 
uh, field of view. I am not sure how far my camera is to me. So how does the image look like? Based on just, you know, eye tests, some of the footage I transferred to the computer, the image is a bit soft for me. I haven't tried this in, uh, you know, really, really bright days for vlogging, like how you would use an action camera. Next thing I'll do is I'll do side-by-side -side comparisons with the GoPro Hero 11, so stay tuned for that. So that's it for this vlog. So while waiting for that video, you can check out this video that I did to compare the Action 3 and the GoPro Hero 11, but that was before the firmware update on the Osmo Action 3.